Welcome to FWC Tactical Knowledge, where the analyst of football is raw and detailed. Please remember to like and subscribe. Welcome to Future World Class TV. I'm going to analyze the World Cup quarter-final match that took place between Portugal and Morocco. Now Morocco came up with a victory 1-0 and they put on an excellent performance. Now we first dive into the analytical structure, attacking structure and defensive structure of Portugal and talk about the system that Morocco used. Now Portugal attacked attacking structure was of a 3-2-5 where three centre backs, two in the midfield and five up front and they had a defensive structure of 4-4-2 and 4-2-3-1. Now Portugal system as said before they had three centre backs and their responsibility was mostly of just giving the space and creating a triangle while attacking. They had the two midfielders in the middle and they had the five players up front where you have two players out wide you have two players in the half space of the opponent's defensive phase and you have a player in the center, between the center box, which is known as a striker. Now, the two players in the midfield operated of one going up and one being down and that created a diagonal shape within the middle. Now, this is of the player that is down is acting as a deep end playmaker and they were responsible for mostly collecting the ball. Now, the player up that is upward in the middle is known as a box box midfielder and they will join the attack while they were attacking to create more options in the middle. Now the players out wide gave their options while they still wide and you had players in a half space that penetrated the half space which is the space between the, the centre back and the left back and also the upper half space which is between the midfielder and the winger and they penetrated those spaces and by going in as you can see here players dropping in, dropping in to collect the ball or to create more attacking options. Yeah, the player in the strike, yeah, the player in the center of the strike of the center box that mostly operated as a target man. Now at times Portugal would swap the attacking midfielder to join the tier at the back and allow one of the one of the center box to go up. That would place the player out wide, and then the player out wide will come in between the half space. Um, and this can be shown right here. Now, when the attacking midfielder reach um, way to the back, he will normally look for long balls to switch up girls to the opposite winger and they now generally work. Now on to Portugal's defensive structure, they use a 4 2 3 one high press and a 4 4 2 mid block. Now you have three phases within a defensive structure. You have a high block, a low block and you have a mid block. And the high block is called a pressing structure. The mid block is where you defend the middle of the pitch while you sit in the middle and have a structure in the middle. And the low block is where you park the bus while also having a structure. Now the lower you go is the more compact, the higher you go is the more expanded team you look. Now, now with the 4 2 3 one is basically like this. So there was one striker that was responsible to press both center box. And once the ball reach over here, you had the Winger that adding pressure and they come over and come over. And if the ball is supposed to go to this player, they press where well, I come over and press it. So basically, the high press was basically of pressing the ball wherever the ball was and pressing that player for wherever that player was. And when they transvert into a mid block, they use the 4 4 2 as you can see here. And the 4 4 2 consists of the two center backs with the two full backs beside it, and the two midfielders in the middle. You have the two 
strikers that were beside the midfield players and they stay compact. You had, you had two, you had two strikers where one striker came off and then the striker played like this. So the striker had a diagonal shape by defending. You had four players in the middle and you had four players at the back that stay compact within the defensive structure.